So I'm going to talk about repeated subtraction first. All right, there's got to be an easier way than just going like 360 minus 20 is 340 minus 20 is 320 minus 20 is 300. I can do this a little bit more efficiently than that too, right? But this is, I'm really asking how many 20s can I take from 360? I can write it out like I was doing before, or I could do it, make it look a little bit more like a division problem. So my, so my dividend goes inside the, di the division bracket and the divisor goes on the outside. I'm gonna make a really long line here. I'm gonna keep track of my partial quotients on the side. So I, no, here, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80. No, that's not right. 20, 60, 40, 100. I want to weigh 100. How many times was that? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. One, two, three, four, five. Five times 20 is 100. I'm going to take away 100. 360 minus 100 is 260. I'm going to take another 520s. I'm going to take 520s away again, which we said was 100. And then I have 100 and C. Okay, I can take away another 100. That's 520s. And I'm left with 60. Okay, 20, 40, 60. That three times 20 is 60. I have no more 20s that I can take. Two, I need to add up. I need to add up all the 20s that I've taken away. So that's five times five is 10. 10 plus, well, okay, five plus three is eight. Okay, 10 plus eight is 18. So my answer, how many 20s can I take away from 360? Is 18. That's our quotient. All right, let's look at equal groups. 